<laughs> Yo, what's up? Right, guys, today, this video is about low testosterone symptoms and how to know if you, as an older guy, have low testosterone and what you can do about that naturally. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. I created this channel specifically to help older guys with their dating and their relationships. And testosterone is one of those things that you have to factor in because you may not know this, but when a man hits 35 years of age, give or take, his testosterone drops on average by 1% per year. Isn't that freaking insane? Like, no wonder so many of us are walking around with all this excess belly fat as we get older, right? So, full transparency, I have not got a blood test in probably five to 10 years. So, you don't need to get a blood test to know if you have low testosterone because I'm going to go over this with you. So, number one, what, number one telltale sign that you have lower testosterone than what it should be, right? And there's two measurements of testosterone. There's free testosterone and then there's total testosterone. So I believe the correct one to focus on is the free testosterone and how your body can actually use that testosterone. Again, I, don't have, I haven't done my blood tests in a while. And so I don't even know what my testosterone levels are. I believe they should be as a, a man 35 and under the levels of total testosterone or free testosterone. Leave a comment if you know exactly which one it is. I think it's between 600 and 900 of free testosterone, if I have that correct. Anyways, for all of you that have not done a blood test and are not going to do a blood test anytime soon, this is how you know two specific signs that you know you have low testosterone. Number one is you're having a hard time getting rid of that lower body fat. So I really started hitting the gym a lot more a few years ago and I was just like, damn, why can't I, I'm like watching what I eat. I'm going to the gym five days a week. I'm doing cardio. I'm doing all these things. And I was just like, shit, man, why do I have this, this stubborn freaking belly fat? And really it's because what, that's one of the signs as an older guy that you have lower testosterone. Okay. Number two, which is the critical one that you're no longer waking up consistently in the morning with morning wood. All right. So number one, the, the stubborn belly fat around your stomach. And then number two is the lack of morning wood in the morning. So there's a few other symptoms I'm going to go over right now, but those are the really the two, two big ones. Okay. A couple other ones is if you're finding yourself struggling with depression a lot more than when you did when you were younger. So those are kind of like subtle symptoms about that. Um, you also are less aggressive in general. What I mean by this is like things don't give you, get you kind of all ground up and, and like when you're at the gym, you don't feel as, as aggressive. Again, these are kind of like subtle things, but just focus on those other two. So there's a lot of products out there to help increase your testosterone. And I decided not to look at uh, testosterone replacement therapy for now. It's very expensive. Like we're talking probably $400 a month in treatments. I don't want to put needles in myself, not at this point. And it can really start to change your physiologic, like your, your body. Um, Joe Rogan, okay? Joe Rogan is on TRT. And look at him now versus like five years ago. Same thing with uh, Jeff Bezos. They've got this look about them that I don't like. It's very veiny and like red. Anyways, so I was looking for, around at a lot of different products on how to increase your testosterone naturally, something you can do every day that does not involve injections. 
So there's a variety of different products out there, and I'll do more videos on this as I keep experimenting. But I have some good news. So for the last month, I've been experimenting with, and I hope I'm not trashing the name of this, Sistanchi. So this is a herb that Genghis Khan used to take. It's ground up in a powdered form, in capsules, and I take uh, a total of 1,000 milligrams per day. So this is critical, guys. Any of this, these herbs, even though it's a natural herb, you want to be very careful that you're not overdosing and taking too much because there could be some side effects. So based on my research, the maximum you should be taking of Sistanchi specifically is 1,000 milligrams. So it's 500 milligrams per capsule. So I take two of these capsules before bed. Uh, some people take it during the day. I like to take it at night because I have other supplements I take in the morning. If you're curious, take a look at my video on the um, biohacking nootropics that I take. So I take this at night and damn. <laughs> so I've been one month in of taking this and not only am I shedding the belly fat a lot faster than I did before, but I'm waking up with morning wood, <laughs> like major morning wood. And if you haven't watched my video on no fat, now I'm having a challenge because I'm like walking around with a damn heart on like a lot of days and really horny. <laughs> so, so the good news is that uh, I'm getting the morning wood and I am um, definitely more frisky. But I told myself, look, uh, I'm seeing somebody now, so I'm forcing myself to not do anything until I see this person, this woman. Um, just a quick side note. <laughs> I've had a few comments on my YouTube channel that I'm gay. I like, I'm not, I'm the furthest from gay and I don't care what y'all think. I do have a girlfriend and I like women very much. So, so yes, so this Sistanchi, Sistanchi works very well for me. And the other side effect of this, of Sistanchi that I like is I find I'm a lot more aggressive in the gym. I'm more intense. I walk around with more confidence. I feel more manly. Um, the other thing is it's, it's really starting to, my, my veins are starting to pop more. Like my definition in, in my arms and my body and everything. So this is just one month in. Uh, I'll do another video at like the six month mark, but put a comment down below in this video and let me know what you think about uh, testosterone supplements. Any recommendations you have, I really appreciate that on what's natural, herb-based, or even if you've done actually TRT with injections. So I really wanna get your feedback. Let me know what you think and thanks for watching.